so, Grand Attorney, or treat the guy behind this as an enemy combatant, Sebastian Gorka, author of Defeating Jihad, is a winnable war with us right now. Uh, right now, he is uh, being treated uh, 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 as a criminal, and, and he will be afforded all American rights, legal rights, not as an enemy combatant. What do you think of that? Neil, uh, welcome back. I, I think it's very compelling to make an argument that this isn't just another criminal. This isn't a member of the mafia. This isn't a bank robber. This is a man who has taken sides in a war and he is on the side of an enemy entity. In this case, the Islamic State, the new caliphate run by Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Uh, if you look at World War II, we did not treat enemy agents captured on U.S. soil as just common criminals. In fact, uh, they were treated as enemy combatants, and in, if they were U.S. citizens, the treason statutes applied. So uh, if you believe we're at war, Neil, then there is a very compelling case to be made that you don't treat this guy just like a common criminal. All right, but it apparently is going to be the case that we will treat him like a common criminal, but those who support this system and our type of justice say, uh, you know, we've handled others this way, and they have met their due in, 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 in prison and elsewhere. You have your doubts. Well, it's, it's a question of perspective. Do you think we are at war? I think we are. I think we are now in the 16th year. We've just had the 15th anniversary of 9-11, and we are in the longest war America has ever waged since 1776. Hmm. This isn't just a bunch of random criminals. They're not people making profit. These aren't psychos. This isn't uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. These are jihadis who wish to destroy America and Western civilization. As such, I think they should be treated as enemy combatants and not enjoy the rights and privileges that Americans enjoy who are citizens of this nation and don't wish to destroy this nation. No, that's a very good point. Do you think he had help, maybe a lot of help? Oh my gosh, this is a man who, I've read the, the contents of the journal, this man was not just a consumer, he was a propagator of jihadi narrative, he re not only did his father turn him in or try to turn him in, he made blatantly anti-American statements in public, he made blatantly homophobic statements, right. and then what does he do? He travels to South Asia and he visits Quetta. Curious, Quetta curious is, stuff. All right. Yeah, Quetta is the hotbed of jihadism. All right, it's going to be weird. Sebastian, thank you very much.